Welcome to Team Guru tutorial how to set up automatic notifications. This is a great functionality for you to maintain data entry for all your metric dashboards. You can now receive automatic notifications prior of your data entry due date and you can also be notified if any data is missing and over you. Let's get started. From the module panel you have to first uh, find your dashboard. Click on add a pencil and scroll all the way down where you find a tab for automatic notifications. Once you click on automatic notifications tab, then you have to define its settings. First one, automatically remind escalate missing values in the period. In from the drop bar menu, you can choose in what period you want to check on missing data. Let's say you collect in your metrics, um, metric data monthly, then actually it's this month last, it's the last month, and obviously before last, it's the uh, month before last. This period is based on a default interval of the dashboard, not of the metric, but of the dashboard. Then you have to determine when to check. Uh, it's either at the end of the period, respect locked out period. Some metrics, they have a locked out period, as you can see here in a matrix uh, settings or you can also choose set delays in days and then you have to choose which metrics you would like to check on if you would like to check all dashboard metrics or just selected metrics and now we can move on and set up data entry reminder just click on the checkbox and this email reminder will be sent the date when the data entry is due um, here you can choose the users who will be receiving those reminders. These responsible users you will be setting up in a metric settings in dashboard. And how to do that, how to activate these responsible users uh, for org units and uh, metrics, we will learn at the end of this video tutorial. So you can either choose send to dashboard responsible by checking the box and it, the setup will look like this or send to org unit responsible only for the person who is responsible for the whole org unit. Check the box and it will look like this. Or you can also choose a person who is responsible for specific metric in org unit. Then you can also set more people and the time that reminder will be received. Once you are done with your data entry reminder, you can also set up send over you notifications. These notifications are sent one day after the data entry is due and here you choose the responsible uh, people. Once you are done with all your settings, you scroll down and click on save and view. And here you can see an example of the email when you receive the data entry reminder. And here you can see an example of the email when you receive overdue notifications. And now we can move on how to activate responsible for org units in matrix in dashboard settings. When you need to activate responsible person in a dashboard for either org units or matrix, you have to go to your dashboard settings and click on matrix tab. Then to determine the responsible person either for org units or matrix, you will be simply clicking on either org unit and matrix and highlighting them or unhighlighting them and checking the box for responsible person. Let's say that I would like Paul Hughes to be responsible only for the whole org unit of Torrents. Then you have to highlight org unit for Torrents and you have to click on the checkbox for a responsible person, which is Paul. Now Paul is responsible for the whole org unit. Let's say, now I would like Kate Epking to be responsible for metric number of ideas. So once again, I have to click on the org unit. Then I have to click on the metric that I would like the person to be responsible for. And I have to match it with the responsible person. So if I wouldn't be checked, then I have to check the box. And now I'm responsible for this metric. 
If I like, if I would like to be responsible also for OTTR on time delivery metric, once again I have to click on this metric also and making sure that our unit is highlighted, this metric is highlighted, and my box is checked. If I would like Paul to be responsible for this, then I just check on his box and he's all set up. So for each metric, you can have only one responsible and the same goes to org unit. You can always have only one responsible for the whole org unit. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions or need any assistance, please don't hesitate to contact us at support at teamguru.com and we would be very happy to hear from you.